Hey everybody, Cypher Boy here with a new episode of Final Fantasy VIII. As you can probably hear, I had to change all the music out. What I did do, as you see here, is that I um, put which song I used in place of the original and also where I found, found it, which all of my songs here is going to be from the YouTube Audio Studio if you're interested in grabbing any of them. I did that as a common courtesy because there have been many times where I heard a song in a video I liked but I could not, I didn't know what was used. So I thought I would do everyone a service and have the song names here, which I've been doing for maybe a month or more now. So I hope everyone appreciates that. So I know I do whenever I happen to see any anything like that. So in this episode, we are going to be going to the fire cavern and fighting Ifrit. Um, in the meantime, I'm just stocking up on magic and stuff like that. So far it's taken me over 4 hours to edit everything, so, and that was just adding the music itself, that I have maybe, I want to say 40 to 60 different music cues within here, so that take had taken a long time. I hope you can hear me pretty well because I have my fan uh, blowing on me but I have my hand covering up the microphone to try and keep as much of the uh, background noise as quiet as possible. Plus I've got my mouth pretty close to the mic itself so hopefully that helps. So the music here I put everything at 30 volume, that way you can hear me when I'm speaking. Here's Shiva. I don't know if that's the first time I've used her or not. I know everything sounds way different compared to the original music, however, with so many copyright claims and strikes, I'd rather not have a chance of my channel getting deleted. Okay, I thought I had deleted this portion, but I guess not, so I'll just go by really quickly with this part. I could have swore I deleted this part though. I think this one took 11 seconds if I remember. So there's that I guess. I really hope I deleted all the uh, following tutorials also. I mean Hope I managed to delete, delete, to delete them. The hard to speak with no drinks or anything around. So entering the fire cavern. So here, I the first time I played the game, I chose the 20 minute mark, but everything, all the times afterwards, I did the 10 minute. I tried finding something that kind of resembles the Far Cavern music, but I don't think I was successful despite having over 500 different songs downloaded from the YouTube Audio Studio. I 
I think I've got a video um, posted somewhere on the channel where I showed you how I use Scrivener in order to get the YouTube stuff all organized and everything which also includes the music I use and I put them in the different categories like battle music um, 80s sound, 80s sound vibes I put vibes 70s vibes uh, overworld for the RPGs with the music for the overworld and a whole ton of other stuff like that so some songs have multiple categories they're in uh, to make it easier for me to look through and choose things quickly and after I've listened to everything to make sure I chose the right one. I should have used um, Shiva here to get through here quickly but I didn't. I think it was I I was more worried about drawing the magic and stuff. I'm surprised none of these have like expanded like they normally do in this game and all the other Final Fantasy games. Because normally they expand yeah, expand every time you hit them or do some kind of uh, some kind of action against them. Not much to say at this point with the battle almost being over, but I guess I can say that Final Fantasy VIII was the very first Final Fantasy game I've owned, but also the first PlayStation 1 game I've owned, which I got from my aunt in, uh, on Christmas Eve, when I, or Christmas Day, yeah, Christmas Day. Because we went to my grandma's on Christmas Eve and then my aunt's house the following day. So, Christmas Day is 2001, I want to say. 2000 or 2001, one of those two, is when I got this game and I've been hooked ever since. I don't like the draw, the draw system very much. However, I do like the stories, the music, and the characters, so I play for those reasons. And we're coming up against the boss, Ifrit. I hope you like the, the music I chose here. I had two different um, music choices to do, I mean, that I could have chose from. So I decided this one is for the mini bosses and then the other one would be for the like main bosses. I'll probably use this music also for the um, Diablos battle. So here I finally got to using the um, Guardian Forces. Can't talk today, I don't know why. Well actually, no drink here so that's why. I could have put, it, put the um, different sound effects in for the 
all this stuff. However, that probably would have taken two or three days just to do um, all of that stuff, so I was being lazy and decided not to do it. I did do it for the um, the first cutscene though, where where um, it's like the intro to the game. I'll probably do the same for future cutscenes because I've been looking for stuff to replace the original sounds as uh, as um, best I could. To uh, get the closest I can. Here's Christus, or no, not at this point yet, but pretty soon. She'll have um, two critical hits, um, one after the other. So a lot of people know that you can press that one button to have Squad do the critical hits every time. What you probably don't know is that all the other characters you can play also are able to do that, so it's the um, balance of finding the right time in order to do that, so does that make sense? Probably not. Like you have to hit them at the exact right time. And because they each all use different weapons, it's difficult to um, get that just right for it, it to become a critical hit. Here I'm starting to panic with the time, so I start doing the regular attacks. There's the first critical hit from Vistus. Then she'll do another one right here. As you see. Let's see if I manage to. Let's see. Yeah, I did manage to delete that part, that tutorial, so I'm happy with that. And here I was just making sure I wouldn't get attacked at that point. And here I'm doing the junction menu, trying to find the right magic to increase my stats or I'm about to anyway um, nothing would have increased it so I just let it left it blank like that but once Ifrit is junction to Christus you can I was able to increase the what was it the strength, I think it was, by using the thunder uh, magic. And since I don't have a time limit with the rest of the cavern, I'm just going ahead and stocking magic and stuff as I'm able to.
today is Wednesday, so I'm hoping I can up upload this video before my time limit is up because I want to say after 9.20 a.m. That's when my internet at home stops um, being fast. It goes from like 100 kilobytes or something like that down to about 12 to 20 kilobytes per second. So that's really annoying. I live out in the middle of nowhere, so we don't really have great internet service, which is annoying. And right as I'm about to leave the cave, that's when I get ambushed again. I don't know if you can hear that, but in the background, but it sounds like one of my dogs is tearing up the insulation underneath the house again. That's just great. The last time she did that, the whole floor was shaking with how hard she was pulling at it. And there it goes, it's shaking again. Okay, here I'm going to fight the caterpillar monster because they have the cure, uh, the cure's magic spell, so I can heal my characters. And as you can see here, in a moment, for some reason Squaw's magic is a lot better than Twista's, like her magic. Even though she's the blue mage of the party, so her magic should be higher than the fighters, I would presume, but I guess not. Not at this point anyway. Okay, let's see. Uh, yes, here are there almost 400 points of health re uh, redone. What did that say? Cut. Her pillow at all. I didn't see the name of it for too long, so um, 
Jetpack Turgeon Pillar, something like that, I think. Something weird with difficulty to pronounce. And here I can finally give Christus one of her magic spells. Ultra waves. At least she doesn't have to eat the monsters like Queen of Queen from uh, Final Fantasy IX has to do. But then again, that character, don't know if it's a he or a she, but whichever it is, at least um, they seem to enjoy eating the monsters. Okay, I've got about nine more minutes of video, so hope I can quickly add this um, audio to the video along with the um, subscribe things I recently made. All in one go and quickly so I can get this uploaded and scheduled for later today. That's the goal anyway. I should have edited this yesterday, but I was too tired to even turn my computer on, so I didn't bother with anything, so I've got a day's worth of stuff to make up for, which I'll be doing that today. And that includes doing two days worth of writing my novel, so hope that would be fun enough for me to keep a concentration on. I like how smooth the game looks at this point because when I played using my PS1 version, it was all, um, it was really difficult to see because um, the graphics were not all that great on my new TV. But I'm playing the Steam version, so it's a lot smoother than the other one is. And here I'm doing the magic. I guess I put fire there instead of the thunder like I thought it had. And adding the card um, action so I can get more items from it. I don't think there's much left to say for the voiceover, so I'll probably end the voiceover here. I do go to the beach surrounding Belem Island to show the enemies there, uh, since I hadn't gone in that direction yet. Katurja Pillar, that's what it's called. And my first card. So I'm going to end the voice over here so I can get this edited and uploaded today. So hope you have fun watching the rest of it.